Okay, follow along while I try to install Active Sync and connect my iPad. I'm going to take a long video, break it up, edit it down so that you just get the highlights. Installation highlight reel. Um, <clears throat> I've calmed down a lot. While I was washing dishes, I had a few ideas. I think that a large part of the problem has to do with networking, firewalls, and um, that sort of thing, as opposed to software incompatibilities and, and yeah, um, or software uh, corruption. I don't think it's corrupt. I think that the, the, there's something going on with the networking issues. I'm tired. I really shouldn't be trying to do this, but we'll start by installing the software. Okay, ActiveSync 4.5 XA. It's the beta. I'm going to go for the best. <laughs> or the newest, anyway. I'm having so much fun. I'm just going to go ahead and run this one. Oh, and I'm going to exit the firewall so that, that will not be a factor. Um, this particular firewall, unlike, say, Zone Alarm, actually does go away when you tell it to exit. It doesn't leave its engine hiding there, continuing to protect you from... Do I accept the terms? I don't even know what the terms are. But I'm not having, planning on having any kids, so yeah, I don't have to worry about losing my firstborn username. Now, the thing I'm thinking with this is that maybe I need to make sure that it's the same username that I have as my primary user on my computer. So that might be one of the problems okay. I had. Default setup directory install. And we wait. You don't have to wait. I'm going to be clipping the video here. Well, the install's finished and uh, no active sync in the taskbar. Let's try connecting the iPad. found new hardware, yeah, it always finds it. I mean, that's what really makes all this goofy. It always finds it. Um, it says it's installing and ready to use, but nothing. I'll reboot the computer. The hell? I got nothing better to do with my life. Oh, yeah, I do. <sighs> okay, so I've rebooted. I've turned off the firewall. I am... Plugging the iPad into the USB. The Active Sync shows in the uh, system information, whatever the hell. Found new hardware, USB Sync. HP USB Sync. Oh. Okay. Found new hardware. You new hardware is right installed and ready to use. Nada. Zip, zilch, nada. Things on. Let's try resetting it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try. This is from HP Support themselves. They suggest this. They gave me the software. Settings. New setting. You can change the mode from USB serial to RNDIS. So, put it on RNDIS. That's actually the default. Okay. And it does a, what it calls a soft reset. In other words, it reboots itself. A hard reset is when it wipes its brain. Do you know how you do a hard reset with one of these things? I'm not kidding. You hold this wire here, this button here, and this button here at the same time while simultaneously pressing this thing here into this tiny little hole over here on the side. You see that tiny little dimple in the light? Well, that's a little hole that this fits into, and you press it in while simultaneously holding these two buttons. And that's how you do a hard reset. It wipes the memory. It's not easy, but that's probably just as well, because memory wiping is not something we want to do on a regular basis. I know, I have been doing it on a regular basis. And believe me, it's not fun. Okay, here we go. Cable is plugged into the PC. Plugging into the iPad. Found new hardware, generic RNDIS, Windows Mobile Based Device. It's not making a difference. Not connected, no partnerships. I can't remember all my great ideas. I don't know what to do. 
I'm just going to have to hand copy information between the two devices for now until I think of something new or get a better idea because I'm not uninstalling my Outlook 2003. I'm not going there. That, that was HP's latest suggestion and that's bloody insane. I'm not going there. So I've been going to the trouble of setting up and I'm basically going to have to reinstall everything but in trying to track down the splash ID install file to install it on my newly refreshed pocket PC I actually discovered I had a backup file of all the password information. I don't have to put it all back. Anyway, it's finally connecting. Um, I'm not sure, but I think we reinstalled USB drivers as well. Boy, this stuff's fun. So I'm on underway installing stuff now that I can connect. I can actually install the applications. I don't know where Microsoft FreeCell went, but I have a lot of pocket PC applications to sift through. This is me reinstalling my software and discovering that I got some really nifty apps that I've never bothered to try and that I don't need some of the apps I used to have and that, and that I'm getting all the apps I want. This is me happy. Synchronization is working. <laughs> Sorry about the shaking. <laughs> it's all installed. It's been backed up. It's got new features that I never would have put in if I hadn't had to wipe it. So in the long run, this has worked out for me. And I love my iPad again.